everything points to bad news. That's all I gotta say. Shortages, supply shortage, supply, supply chain issues, and actual real shortages. Like, bonafide real shortages, maybe even food shortages. Oil, I mean, you, you make a lot of stuff out of oil. Paint, plastic, makeup, I mean, you name it. There's, there's a lot of things, I mean, it's a chemical. A lot of things are added. They're byproducts of oil. That are used in everyday life. Electrical lines. Guy just running in the middle of the street, okay. I guess he feels that's the safest place for him. It's getting more humid. So, uh, spring is done. Spring is over. It's summer. Summer is here. Bought a ticket, airline ticket, one way on Spirit Airlines for $25. It is windy and it stinks. It smells like poo poo because they put the they put the mulch. You know mulch that smells like poo poo. What's up everybody? What's going on guys? Starting out here because I just left the outdoor calisthenics gym. So I'm going to start doing that. My left shoulder has been uh, aching or hurting whenever I move it in a certain position. So I've decided to uh, do some physical workout. I think a lot of it has to do with uh, just uh, muscle atrophy. Uh, since the pandemic, I have not worked out at all, especially my upper body, my shoulders, my arms. I haven't done anything. I've done my legs, riding the bike, you know, and uh, the um, muscle stimulator. That's because it's really easy. And. Uh, And uh, the, uh, it's a lot of work to do the, you know, the major muscle group, your legs, your legs, I guess. Uh, yeah, I want to work those out, get the, get my bang for the dollar on the uh, muscle stimulator. But as for the uh, upper body, you know, the arms and the, the other areas, the arms and the other areas, they don't get as much... Uh, you don't get your bang for your dollar when you use a muscle stimulator, so I don't do that. But uh, now that it's spring and uh, the weather's more pleasant and I'm going out, I'm going to start going out to the uh, outdoor calisthenics gym. Uh, it is overcast. I should have turned on the lights, but that's all right. I'll turn on the front lights. I should have turned on my rear light, but I'm pretty sure they can see me. I'm still wearing my shorts. With no uh, compression tights. Oh, I forgot to bring my binoculars. That's what I forgot. I didn't bring my backpack because it takes up a lot of space. I forgot to bring my binoculars. That's what I forgot to do. I was gonna bring my binoculars because uh, I'm gonna go to the pool next to the lake. Well, all the pools, well, most of the pools are next to the lake, but the clubhouse pool. And I'm going to go and uh, I was going to do some bird watching, but that's all right. I'm going to do a live stream. I'm going to talk a little bit about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's popping right now. I think it's going to go to 10,000. Not that I have any Bitcoins, but uh, I used to be in, I used to be into it, but not anymore. I'm really... I'm retired from that. But I'll do a little live stream talking about it. I'll, I'll do some technical analysis, but yeah, I think I think it's gonna go to 10,000. Just the whole uh, uncertainty of the economy. I 
uncertainty, the, uh, we're going into hyperinflation. I think we're going into hyperinflation. The war in Ukraine, all the sanctions going on. It's bad enough we were in a trade war and a currency war. Now there's actual physical war on top of the pandemic or endemic. Still not fully recovered from that. I don't know how long this is all going to go on, but everything points to a, I don't know, recession or depression. Everything points to bad news. That's all I got to say. Shortages, supply shortage, supply, supply chain issues, and actual real shortages. Like bonafide real shortages, maybe even food shortages. food for us, you know, food for us as well, like food for human consumption, but also food for animal consumption, so shortages in that regard as well, and then because there's shortages in farming, could be shortages in farming, a lot of that farming it's used in uh, other things other than eating. So you're going to have shortages in other materials that need that material to make another material, you know, the end consumer product. And then you also have, uh, because the whole uh, sanctions on Russia and oil and everything, you're going to have some... Uh, other shortages. Oil, I mean, you, you make a lot of stuff out of oil. Paint, plastic, makeup, I mean, you name it. There's, there's a lot of things. I mean, it's a chemical. A lot of things are added. They're byproducts of oil that are used in everyday life. So, yep. Just get used to it. Um, I'm trying to, I'm not stocking up per se, but I am going to get more than I normally would need just to have a little buffer. And on top of that, I'm trying to, uh, I'm also trying to uh, compensate. Also trying to compensate for uh, the inflation. So that's another thing I'm doing. Oh, that guy has a fat tire. But it's not electric. So <laughs> he's pedaling hard. I'm just gonna make a beeline to uh, the to uh, the clubhouse because I want to get to the pool. I brought my carbonated water, my cup, my thermal cup, keep the ice cold. So I'll be doing a live stream over at the pool, talk a little bit about Bitcoin, do technical, I'll try to do a technical analysis. Have you seen the, my other live stream? I did talk about it, I talked about Bitcoin, I, t I, I mentioned the price would go up, it looked like it was starting to go up. We're in an unusual situation, usually there's a decline in the Bitcoin price after the halving. After, you know, you get the halving, you get a nice pop in price, then it goes back down again. But no, this is very unusual. Everything tells me that we're in some kind of a super cycle. They're calling it a super cycle where the price will just keep going. Interesting. I guess the guy kind of went and then realized there's a car coming and then made a little turnaround, which was unusual. Okay, hey, pipes. That means sewer lines, water, I'm not sure. Looks like they're planning on a commercial building out here. Oh, that's their, oh, uh, 
looks like they're building uh, those poles are for uh, electrical lines. Guy just running in the middle of the street. Okay. I guess he feels that's the safest place for him. for more businesses they don't do that unless they're gonna have some buildings out there which is good because uh, maybe there'll be some places for me to stop by so I am wearing the flexi freeze but I'm not wearing the ice packets they're just water right now I got one in the freezer got one in the freezer I might pop another one in the freezer it's, it's gonna be in the 80s and uh, so yeah it's getting hot it's getting more humid so uh, spring is done spring is over it's summer summer is here where I live I got the start of summer right here Spring doesn't last no more than two weeks around here. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, two more months. My oldest is gonna graduate. Oh, don't block me, car. Don't block me. I hope she sees me. Oh. Okay. Good. She wasn't even looking. She was looking at her phone, the lady in the car. Anyways, normally I wouldn't go in front, but I didn't have enough room to go behind her. So, oh, a little windy out here. Doing the up incline here, up climb. So my oldest is graduating high school we got everything ready I just had to buy uh, I had to buy my uh, aunt my first class ticket from SFO San Francisco to Houston International on United originally she was gonna drive here with my mom my mom doesn't like driving or my mom doesn't like flying I should say my mom doesn't like flying, so the original plan was she was gonna go with her sister, my aunt, California, California, to uh, Houston. Let me see if I could, uh, okay, I think I can go. Yes, that worked out really good. All right, so uh, yeah, my mom was gonna drive from California to Houston. my aunt but what I decided to do was uh, you know we haven't seen each other for like two years maybe even three years so I uh, bought a ticket airline ticket one way on Spirit Airlines for $25 okay I bought it early I got it at a promo price so yeah $25 one way so not gonna take much, just a carry-on or not even a carry-on, a, a baggage, a personal bag with some a few clothes in it. And then uh, I'm just gonna go and meet my mom. Ooh, it is windy. I'm gonna run the red light. gonna run the red light I know that's totally illegal and wrong but you know until I get pulled over uh, I guess I'll just keep doing it I mean I don't know what to say 
And I don't think it's a big deal around here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go LA and then we're gonna drive back. And the whole point is uh, because I want her to come for her birthday, my birthday, and Mother's Day, and then graduation. So I had to buy my aunt a ticket. Well, I didn't have to. They were going to buy a ticket, but I figured, you know, why not? Let's do first class for my aunt. She used to take care of me when I was young, when my mom had to go work. So my aunt raised raised me for most for the most part. It is windy and it stinks. It smells like poo poo because they put the they put the mulch. You know mulch that smells like poo poo. They put mulch. They put mulch on the, in the landscaping. It smells like poo poo. Thanks. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> so I bought her, I bought my aunt a first class ticket. She'll, she'll be coming a week before graduation, before everybody else does. So that's what's going on with me. And uh, looks like everything's falling into place. Oh goodness. Well, hopefully you'll make it to the live stream. I'll leave a link in the notes section for the live stream if you're interested. I'm gonna talk about probably Bitcoin. The price is popping really nice. I think all the technicals and the way the price, the price action looks like, it looks like it's gonna pop. It's gonna start going up to 100,000. I mean, we're in a weird situation, super cycle. They call it, they're calling it a super cycle. Where the price doesn't go down. It did go down, but it doesn't go down, down like it normally does after the halving. And uh, it's going to, uh, it's gonna go up. So, I hope the pool is open. Today is Monday, it should be open. It's only closed Wednesdays and Thursdays, or Tuesdays and Wednesdays. If not, I'll do the live stream at the clubhouse. Anyways, please like, share, subscribe. Consider joining membership. Leave a comment. Bye.